ready to go, and uh, welcome ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Raw. Your host, Henry Jacobson, here with you, and this program is brought to you by THQ. And for our opening matchup we have, for the television championship, it will be the champion, Chris Jericho, defending the title against Ken Shamrock. Now, of course, anyone who knows about this uh, upstart league, this... Um, I guess you could say it's kind of like a rival to uh, modern day boxing, but uh, it is, it's called uh, Ultimate Fighting Championship, uh, but, uh, and, and Ken Shamrock is one of the ultimate fighters, and anyone who knows about UFC knows that Ken Shamrock has this, he, he, he goes into a zone, and when he goes into the zone, he is, he becomes what his nickname is and that is the world's most dangerous man and I guess for good reason I mean the man th this guy can snap I mean this guy can just lose it so for Chris Jericho for his sake he better try not to take off Ken Shamrock although it could be to his advantage I don't know we'll see but until then or not until then let's start right now alright we're underway and uh, now we have uh, Chris Jericho and uh, Ken Shamrock beginning this matchup. And a back suplex on a Chris Jericho. So, of course, for Ken Shamrock, he wants to keep this match mat based. But Chris Jericho, on the other hand, he has to use his speed, he has to disorientate Ken Shamrock and if he does that he'll win and now wait what's Ken Shamrock doing a back suplex off the second rope on to Chris Jericho oh but then a jawbreaker on to Ken Shamrock Oh, and then a rake in the eyes right to Ken Shamrock. I mean, I, I know you're dealing with the world's strongest man, or the world's most dangerous man, excuse me. The world's strongest man is uh, Mark Henry, but I met the world's dangerous man. Excuse me, my fault. I got the, I, got, I had the moniker right, I, I just had the wrong uh, word, though. That's, that's the thing. And then a hammerlock on to Ken Shamrock. That rhymed. And a nice side headlock takedown onto Chris Jericho. It's a simple move, but it does do some damage. I mean, it may not beat your opponent straight up, but it, it adds up, though, in the long run. So, so far, these two men are just uh, starting out. Ooh, nice uh, Northern Light suplex by Chris Jericho. Then a German suplex onto Chris Jericho by Shamrock. I mean, Chris Jericho knows exactly what he's dealing with. I mean, he would not be the television champion. He, he, he didn't become the television champion by being an absolute idiot, which he is not. In fact, you might say he's an evil genius. Well, he's going to have to be if he has any chance of beating Ken Shamrock, because right now, he is dominating this match a little bit. Then a whip into the corner goes uh, Shamrock. Oh, nice uh, knife edge chop there. Now setting him up on the top rope. And now what's he doing? Uh-oh. A suplex from off the top rope. And that'll definitely put a, take a lot of starch out of uh, Ken Shamrock. I mean, come on. I mean, there's not very many men in this world that can take one and still keep fighting. But uh, if anybody could, I guess Ken Shamrock could. So far, uh, this match has been more or less evenly matched. There, there have been times when either man has dominated for quite a bit, but not to the point where it's pretty obvious who's winning. Oh, and then a rake in the eyes. Well, I guess, you know, turnabout is fair play. I mean, Chris Jericho did that twice to Ken Shamrock, so I guess turnabout is fair play, I suppose. No, not even a one count on Ken Shamrock.
and then a whip into the corner, and then a, a shoulder tackle on a Chris Jericho. Nice counter by Chris Jericho. A float over neckbreaker on to Ken Shamrock. So, so those those are the type of moves that Chris Jericho is going to need to do to Ken Shamrock because he cannot try to out wrestle the man. You're not going to do that. In fact, he'll just out wrestle you, and then once he has you on the floor, he'll just beat the crap out of you. Oh, wait a minute, Chris Jericho is he going to is he going to do it? He's got it. He's got a, a modified Boston Crab in which he calls the Walls of Jericho. He's got the Walls of Jericho on to Ken Shamrock. Can he even reach the rope? Nope. As Ken Shamrock has just tapped out and through no fault of his own, it's just the Walls of Jericho are really painful. I have been put in that submission uh, myself. I, I wrestled Chris Jericho in the Independence, and that move was just as lethal then as it is now, as Chris Jericho has once again retained his championship. I'll tell you one thing, uh, the, the Undertaker or anybody that faces Chris Jericho better watch out because he is a rising star, ladies and gentlemen. A rising star that might just become one day the World Wrestling Federation Champion. So for Chris Jericho, he is still the champion. But folks, we have a big match coming up in just a moment. Stay tuned.